Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Did you know that Drake is de- being deposed in the XXX Tentacion murder trial? Yeah. I do you did. know that people think that he was involved in that? Nobody thinks that. They do. No, the trial's already over. <laughs> is it over already? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Went to jail, man. <laughs> Went to jail. They said yeah, that yeah. XXX said, if anybody kills me, it's Drake. Yes, he did say that. And then he died. He did You're die. You're not going to look into a man's final words? I mean. He said it as his, he was dying, his, right? His final moments are on camera. Saying it was Drake. No, his final moments are on camera when the guy shot him at the car dealer. Oh, yeah, at. yeah, up the road from the car dealer. And uh, he did say that if, if anybody did it, Drake did it. But uh, those guys, when they were... Uh, they were just stupid guys after money. They were pretty... Like, I actually watched, like, the uh, the footage of them, like, walking into the place and then walking out and then seeing, oh, is that X? And then they go and get their friends. They park across the street and then they come back and they catch him and his uncle while they're driving out of the dealership and proceed. And he's like, I'm not giving you my car. And very expensive car. Understand. Understandable. Nobody wants to be robbed. Probably should have just gave it up. Yeah. Um, but I don't think Drake had anything to do with it. Nobody believed them, them guys, and uh, they are f- firmly affixed behind bars. He said that uh, he stole his flow and didn't disrespect it. <laughs> yeah, he did say that. That's what happened. He did, <laughs> he did say that. I didn't know there that. Was a, there was a song that he came out with. Wow, you're talking to XX to Tashian. In 2023, man. Hey, man, his spirit lives on forever. Is insane right now. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, I want to bring. I know you're his homie. I'm not his homie. You used to jam out to that. Is is that because I'm black? You were down. You were down with his potential crimes. Is it because I'm black? No, dude. I don't understand. Then no, I don't even know what that means. Okay. No, dude. It's because you like him. You were listening to. You were. You were like, this is this new cut by that Tatashion guy. Mm. Remember saying that? No. Okay. I don't know. No, no. He makes pretty, he made pretty good music. You know, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I um. Unless he was guilty of his allegations, and rest in piss. Oh yeah, because that I, dude. Did you read about like what the boy did? I did. I read a lot of stuff about what. what I the boy was did. like, oh, like a wire brush and stuff. I was like, damn, homie. Right, right. Yeah. Then you hear his music, and you're like, oh. Yeah. Uh. Man, I don't. You know what? It's 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 very strange, man. They say like a lot of artists and a lot of like uh, hmm, like a lot of athletes. It's it's it seems like certain positions like have a higher degree of like what do you call it? Insanity? Not not necessarily domestic violence, oh, but uh, tendency to for violence, sociopathic tendencies. Yes, like if I say police officer you're like oh he probably beats his wife right wow okay right i mean that, that's only because it's come out so many times soldier yeah now see i wouldn't think soldier but if you said marine i'd be like he probably <laughs> wow <laughs> football players they're known for beating their wives rappers uh old rock stars are known for why why oh, is that i don't know why do they hit their partners i don't know but if i were to say like i don't know i just see like boxers fight like ufc fighters it, but even them yeah those guys are known for like doing that stuff too i don't know i don't Propensity know if it's like, for violence i don't know if it's like high adrenaline jobs or like those jobs where you're like I don't know where you're in the public eye. Maybe start smelling your you own see ass. The worst of everybody. I don't know, man. Yeah, you assume everybody's a vulture. What do you What do you mean? Like you assume everybody's out to get you. Whether you're a cop, whether you're a rock star, whether you're a football player, you assume everybody's out to get you. If anything, I would think the alternative. I would think that you would think that a lot of people would be pulling for you, or you feel like you have a certain degree of uh, I can get away with anything. You would feel like everyone is in your life to use you. Okay, is that that's that's your take on it? Okay. I don't know. I'm just throwing out advocacy here. Some devils, devils okay. tips, dude. I I, I would think I thought that it might come from the fact of like if you're a cop, you have a certain degree of standing. If you're a music artist or a, or a rock star, you have a certain degree of standing. You have people who are like, I respect you because of your position. If you're a uh, <laughs> And it just seems like maybe they get a. So, but you also have people who want to take you out because of your position. 
I agree people with hate that. cops. People hate rock stars. People hate football players. So you, you think that the that the domestic violence or the propensity for violence comes out of frustration? Comes out of extreme vigilance. I don't that to the doesn't... point where like they have to have their head on a swivel because they never know who's going to try to take advantage of them or try so, to take them out of their position. So they of hit power. their so they hit their wife because you hurt the people that are closest. <laughs> okay. Okay. I All mean, right. it's a fair, it's a fair you point. Mad, you're I'm mad not... at coach and your girl's like, what, you didn't bring the turkey home? And then next thing you know, like, you're mad, dude. You ain't got control of your anger. You want to hit coach, but you get fired. Mm, mm. So you throw somebody at a TV or something like they mm. do. Hit them in an elevator, have it on t- um, tape. You yeah, know, I mean, stuff that, people do is wild. That's 100 percent fair. I I don't know. I'm just I, throwing stuff out. I, there, I, I honestly think it comes out of a place of just like I can get away with anything I want because I'm a cop or above the I'm, law. Yeah, because look, man, when you can just throw money at shit or you can just be like throwing uh, money at shit is a very unique thing to say. Yeah, when you can just throw money to fix problems, then you're just like, I'll just throw money at this later. Yeah, I'll beat well, this. Or you, yeah, you just assume anything can have, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Like, I'll oh. beat this guy's ass, I'll take the lawsuit, and then I'll wake up and eat breakfast and, and Turkish Caicos. Yeah, you know? I'll, I'll send him 100 k and then I'll eat gold flakes inside my Cheerios. Exactly. Yeah. And with a cop, I think that it comes from, like, I'm a police officer. I can, you know, I, I got okay. enough weight at the police station where I can just, at worst, move to another department. I that's can get away with what I want. That's to. super wild. That's where I think it comes from. So with that, I, with that being said, uh, Daniel Masterson, Daniel Masterson is going to jail forever. <laughs> Not forever. I think he got uh, life. Yeah, he did get. He got thirty to life. I think. Yeah, I yeah. mean, he's like fifty. So and some. Uh, and then uh, the, the thing about Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis. I didn't hear that. Were they giving him support or something? So Were they at the parties with him or what? So when he first got the uh, the case, the charges brought upon him, he, he asked for a letter of recommendation from Ashton and Mila Kunis. Yeah. And uh, people were like, you do realize this guy is, you know, on trial for two uh, uh, sec- assaults. And uh, they were like, oh, yeah, you know, we stand with members, you know, people who have experienced this in their past. We just members he's always been cult. a friend. He's always been a friend to us. I'm gonna let you know right now, Jonas. If you get, if you get uh, accused of uh, such a crime, I'm gonna be your, I'm gonna be a friend. I, I probably putting your name on the line for me. Would I write a letter of recommendation for you? Well, because well, here's the thing. Like, but here here here's why I feel like it happened. Yeah. Hyde comes to Ashton and he goes, "His name's not Hyde." Danny comes to Ashton. He's like, "Listen, homie, I need a letter," and he's like. You, you know, do? this is pretty bad, dog. Like, yeah. you know, a couple rapes and stuff. And he's like, I didn't do it, man. You know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what should happen is Ashton get to punch him in the face. No, nah, I mean, honestly, you should probably punch all uh, assaulters in but the you face. You know what, man? I don't I don't think it's wrong to be like, listen, you're my boy. Yeah. I love you, but I'm not putting my la- name on the line for you right now. I got too no. much to lose. Like, so, if I worked at, like, if I worked at, like, KFC... Mm-hmm. And, like, no one gave a shit about anything I did. Who cares? But if you're a famous-ass celebrity and, like, yeah. you back this rapist and then you look like you're a rapist backer, like, that's not good. Yeah, that's that's where it really comes in into play. And then the really bad thing is when they started digging into the crates and looking at some of the stuff that Ashton has said and done in his past. See, you open up your own Pandora's box. You really did. Because everyone's like, oh, we'll just leave him alone. And they're like, let's look at his Twitter from 1987. So it's very funny when you start to realize is that when Ashton Kutcher started doing uh, that 70s show, yeah. he was 22 years old. Oh, my God. Mila Kunis, when she started doing that 70s show, she was 14 years old. 14. Uh-oh. Um, they are now married. Oh. So there was the whole idea of did Ashton groom his own wife? Oh, he from groomed the, her. From the age he was 14. I'm not going to show any of the, of the clips, but there's a clip from uh, the Rosie O'Donnell show where they're just laughing it up, me and a bunch of kids, and she's 15 at the time. He's 22, 23, and... They're talking about her first on-screen kiss. Uh Uh-huh. She's 15. She had her first on-screen kiss with Ashton Kutcher. And apparently he tried to put his tongue down her throat. 
Mm. And they're just joking about it, and, Ro- <laughs> and Rosie's laughing, the, and the crowd is like, "Whoa, Ashton, are you ready?" He's like, "No, it's not like that. You know, it's just kind of you know, guys being guys. We're just joking around, bruh." He should have kept his mouth shut, and he should have just let <laughs> digging up his own dirt, man. Right? He's probably slanging Taylor Swift tickets out here. He should have just kept his mouth shut, and of course, he's had one of those. We're just waiting for her to turn eighteen jokes that everybody made in the nineties. Yo, man, y'all need to apologize to Britney Spears. That's all the I gotta Olsen, say. The Olsen twins and them too. Yep, y'all need to apologize. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.